In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the slice tool in Photoshop. And I'm using uh, CS4, but it should be similar in other versions that you may be using. So the slice tool is used to slice up an image and basically cut it into pieces that you specify. So you can put it online or an e-blast or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, but those are my two uh, main uses for it. And um, you can also create links and uh, mouse over text and do all sorts of stuff. So in this example, I have a sample e-blast that maybe I want to send to my followers. And one thing to keep in mind is don't have complicated slices. Try to keep it as smooth and simple as possible. As you can see, I have a solid, you know, I've got a section here, sections down here, sections here. I'm not having all sorts of different weird sections because you're going to use an HTML table to piece all of this back together. So the fewer slices you can have and the cleaner slices you can have, the better your results are going to be. So the slice tool is accessed uh, under the crop button here. So if you uh, hit C or click on the button here, you'll want to go down to slice tool. And so we'll just make our first slice here. So I want the header section to be its own section. So I'm just going to do that. So there's my first slice. And then I want to, um, I want my message section to be next. And so I'm going to do that. So there's two. And then I want the footer. And Photoshop is pretty helpful at getting, at helping you um, make good even cuts here. And you can even cut so I want each of these to be separate because I want to, I want my my whoever I'm sending this to to be able to click on each of these images and go to a different link. So then I'm just going to go right there, and you can adjust it a little bit if you want to. You don't have to go from here. I mean, just kind of play around with it, see what works best for you, what you're comfortable with. All right, we want to, I'm going to hold down the control button. Oh, that didn't get much more control. And then my final slice will be right here. Okay, so once you're done slicing everything how you want it, it makes, you know, before you go to all the trouble of slicing, you can you can change the slices around, but I would make sure that everything is exactly how you want it cuz it's kind of a pain to go back and adjust it even though it is possible it's just a hassle in my opinion so now I want to create links and so I'm going to go to the slice select tool and also one more thing to keep in mind and this whatever this might be more of a um, e-blast tutorial thing to keep in mind but you want to make sure you have a decent amount of text in the e-blast that you send out so your message doesn't get marked as spam. And so one thing you can do here is instead of having the text as an image, you can just completely cut this section out and insert your own text uh, using HTML and just pop it into the table. So um, back to the topic here, I want to add a link here. So I'm just going to double click on here. and um, I don't I don't really mess with that at all. So the name this is what the um the section name is going to be. So slices example underscore zero one. Now um this is important because you you're gonna have to piece it together later on, but it, it produces all the HTML for you. Okay, so here you can type in the URL, so I'm just going to type in my own URL. So target, this is where you can specify if you want it to open in a new window or the same window or whatever. So um, you can just leave it blank for now if, if that's what you want to do. Um, message text, that's kind of the mouse over text here. 
and then alt tag that's what's going to show up if the image doesn't show up so um this I think that's that's it for now for me. So I'm going to hit OK and it's all in there. And then you can do the same for these. If you want to insert an email address, uh, let's see, um, you can do your um, uh, mail to I think that's how you do it. I might have to look it up. This is not a lesson in HTML right now, but you can do it that way. So then it it sends to an email address instead of a URL. So once you're done with everything, this is this is the fun part, I guess. Um, <laughs> so you want to save for web and devices. Uh, Alt Shift Control S. And it shows, it gives you a little preview of all the different slices. And if it has little tiny weird ones, you can just delete them. Um, they're just delete slice, boom, it's gone. But we want it there. Because you just want very clean slices. So we're going to go back to save for web and devices. And get all your settings right here. You know, if you want to change anything, go for it. And then hit save. Now, here's where you got to be careful. So we don't want just the images, we want HTML and images. Because that will produce an HTML file so we can pop this into our website. And there we go. So now I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to take a look at my Photoshop slices file. So here are my images, all sliced up ready to go and then here's my HTML so if I open this there it is and you can see the link it should work it's being kind of slow right now there we go the link takes me to my blog which is awesome you should check it out so that's how you do it and if you want to alter the text in the the HTML here, um, what I recommend doing is I just uh, create a copy so you can control and drag, and then uh, change the extension to txt, and that makes it a text file. So now you can go in and you can mess with the, the HTML in here if you are comfortable doing that, if you're familiar with what you're doing. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials and check out my blog at sallyu.com. And have a great day. Thanks for tuning in.